everybody. My name is MD Quill, and we are about to enter the Enchanted Earth. So, apparently this is the next way we have to go to defeat the evil Zarok, because we have just finished everything else. We've saved the village, we've saved the mayor, we have a key, and ooh, I wonder if that's the key that we took. Hopefully it is, because otherwise this would be a little awkward. I have no idea. Whoa, whoa, what are you guys? Oh my god, they're so cute! I want one. I want one as a plush. Not that thing. That thing is a very ugly frog. I want the uh, flying demonic creature. Ooh! What was it begin with? Since we're in a forest, I think an axe is a uh, appropriate weapon to use in here. <laughs> Ow! That was rude. Very rude. So, this place here brings back... Oh. Ah. This place brings back quite a few memories for me. <laughs> because I absolutely despise doing this place as a kid. Because ah. those frog spit would always get me, and I was usually pretty low health, like, just as I am now. Aha! Aha! Oh, I just realized that the axe literally gets thrown through the creatures. Very nice. All right. Eh. Eh. Okay, before I go that way, let's check this out. What is over here? It's a witch's brew! Ah, book read. There used to be a coven of witches in the caves beneath Cemetery Hill. The whole forest never smelt the same since. Ah, okay, so this is uh, another witch from that coven that we saw way back then. And we all know what to do with them. Throw in the star and we summon a witch. Who has summoned the witch of the forest? Oh, it is you, Sir Fortescue. Forgive me, my lord. I have never met a real hero. <laughs> You tell her, Danny. <laughs> Forgive me. Just an old lady's little joke. In <coughs> truth, I am glad to see you, Sir Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant's nest. Bring them to me, and I can grant you a special reward. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? Uh, just once. Fine. Or if I... Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? What did you do to me? Sorry. Didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? Now hurry back. <laughs> she is a witch. A witch with a capital W. Only not a W. It starts with a B. You all can do the spelling, I hope. As long as you're better spellers than I am, you'll be fine. Wait a minute. Why is there a gargoyle inside of an ant's nest? Run, little man. If the master found it now, he would crush it like a bag. <laughs> Hark, we can hear the soldier ants approaching. Onward, and meet your tiny nemesis. I am not amused. Well, I don't know. The idea of there being a gargoyle. How big is this guy? This guy here would be like the size of a BB. What kind of person would make a BB-sized gargoyle and stick it into... Ooh, club. Stick it into an ant's nest. That that makes no sense. Like, why put in the extra effort? This magic portal was created by the fairies. It appears to have been created to prevent something from escaping the tunnels below. Yeah, probably the intelligent buffoon who decided to... Ooh, there's a path this way. Oh, I get why we got the club now. We gotta break the rock. And there's something here. Thank you for releasing me, sir. My people wish only to live our lives in blissful harmony with nature. But alas, the wicked egg queen has many of us imprisoned. Rescue my people, Mr. Fortescue, and you will be richly rewarded. Okay, hold the phone. What, what the heck is that? What? Is that one of the fairies? Is that ser- that- that can't be a fairy. No, that thing is too short, fat, and ugly. That's- 
That's like a Danny DeVito Cupid. That's what it looks like. I mean... What? What is this? What is this thing? Look at it! Oh, that's disgusting. That's like a mutated baby with wings. I shall open the entrance for you. These fireflies are my friends. They will light your way through the darkness below. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Why am I doing this? Why am I helping out a mutated baby, Danny DeVito, in a diaper? And then, now, he gave me a bunch of little navvies. That's all, that's all I'm considering these things now. These are literally navvy following me, lighting my path. This is... no. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the... You know, I'm already remembering this place. This is a place I really did not like doing as a kid, because I kept getting lost in these tunnels. Ah, okay, fine, I'll defeat the level with the hammer. Everybody likes me using the hammer, apparently. And we have just released the trap. As it should be, actually. Oh, more ants. These six-legged demons will not defeat- Wow, there's a lot of them actually coming out. I'll be honest, this place here is... I don't know. I don't really remember this place. I know my brother... Well, I, I don't know my brother despised it. I know he despised the future level that we're getting to. It's the one I remember the most about. Oh, we just found the amber. Oh, look. Directly on him and kills him instantly. That makes things easy. But, yeah. Ooh, they spit acid, too. But, oh, shoot. I already blanked out what I was talking about. Oh, well. We're gonna be killing ants. Oh. Oh, that was a boulder. Ah! Okay, so the ants with blue happen to be the warrior ants. Aha! And breaking these things gives me gold. I'm okay with doing that now. Yeah, a little bit too much silence right there. Gonna be working on that. Ooh, look, more. Ah, uh, we gotta save the Danny DeVito. There you go, Danny. Wait a minute. Sir Daniel Fortescue, and then Danny DeVito Fairies. I think this game is going for a theme. Are all the good guys starting with a D and going Danny? Ow. Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't even understand this. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember what I was talking about now. My brother. He used to go through this game. He was... Whenever we played these games, when it comes to levels like this, I tend not to, uh, do anything. Yeah, they're peaceful unless I attack their, uh, the maggots or whatever they are. Interesting. But I used to have him play levels like this because I would just get lost in these tunnels and wander around for, like, 30 minutes. I mean, these things are not any longer than... These things should be defeated in, like, 10 minutes easy. But I always... Even in real life, I have such a ter... Ooh, we found one in there. I have such a terrible sense of direction, I will get lost on a straight road. And no, that is not a joke. Back when I was still in Boy Scouts, we did something called the Hiking Merit Badge, where we have to hike so long, and we get a Merit Badge saying, hey, we can walk. Haha. -ha. Well, part of the thing to do that is we had to walk miles on end. Like, uh, I think it was like three 10-mile hikes, 120. Well, it was when I did the 20-miler that... The story of me getting lost on a straight road occurred. You see, it first started off with, uh, you know, it started out normally, but things went downhill from there. Yeah, that's kind of what we did. We were following this map, and we're supposed to go straight for, well, oh, we've already been in this place. We went straight for quite a long time, and uh, we were following our map. I mean, we were trained. We're supposed to know how to follow these maps. Apparently, us as the senior Boy Scouts didn't. We were falsely trained or we were just stupid. Either way, I think the stupid was part of it because uh, we decided to also sit down and play with an electric fence while doing that, but I'll get to that story in just a few minutes. Well, in this, we had one area we we're supposed to turn and go. Basically, we were supposed to make a turn and follow the main road, and that'll 
follow the main road, turn on, keep going it, and then we reach a city, and that is our twenty mile, our ten mile hike. Then we hike ten miles back, and all that other fun stuff. Well, we decided that. When I say we decided, I mean we were just kind of brainless and decided that hey, obviously this is not the turn. What we saw <laughs> was the turn of the main road going across a bridge and it goes straight into a wooded area. It looked like the path was overgrown. We were thinking it was okay. Well, we followed through the woods, which disappeared, so there's no trail. Okay, I'm already lost again. Which way is out? Oh, shoot. It seems that a, my past self has not left yet. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we went straight through the woods. The trail disappeared. We started just hiking and exploring, trying to get back to the main road. And what we did was we hit a bean field. And as intelligent Boy Scouts as we were, we didn't decide to turn back. We decided that it would be much smarter for us to uh, keep going straight through the bean field. I don't know why we did I, I, Again, I think it was the electric fence. Well, keep us walking for so long, we went over like four or five different farms. And until we finally reached the main road, or at least a main road. It probably wasn't even the one we're supposed to be on. And give it some time, we... <laughs> We managed to finish our hike with our scoutmaster coming up behind us and saying, where the hell have you boys been? And we explained to him, and uh, he was gravely disappointed in us getting lost on this straight road, which shouldn't have been a problem. I mean, again, we were seniors. This is near the end of my boy scouting career. I was like 17 at the time. No, I think I was 16 here. It was, it was about that time. I should have known better, and I didn't, because I'm an idiot. Actually, in most of the stories you will hear, you will learn that I was not exactly the sharpest crown in the knife box. And I guess I say it that way for a reason, because it's more fitting. Eh. Now, as for uh, what I mentioned, the electric fence incident. Woohoo, I have enough ambers. While we were on this adventurous trail of the straight road and then getting lost, while we were going through one of the farms, we found an electric fence. And in our brilliant little minds, we thought to ourselves, Hey, I wonder what it would feel like to touch it. We had a very shocking revelation. Yes, pun is intended. What we discovered was it shocked me. And, well, it didn't shock all that much. We were rather surprised that it didn't hurt as much as we thought it would. <laughs> oh, wow, we actually have full life. Now, again, me as the brilliant little genius I was. This is all about ten years ago, so hopefully I'm a little less stupid now. But as the genius I was, I was thinking to myself, Hey, this didn't hurt at all. I'm going to try something different. And I did. I have decided I'm going to get on my hands. I'm going to kneel down on my knees and touch the uh, fence. Because I didn't know the basic laws of science. Which means the more body on the ground, the more it electrify you. I was quite literally thrown back. Actually, hold on just one minute. If you are brave enough to go beyond this point, you will enter the chamber of the dreaded Ant Queen. Beware! Once you have encountered her six-legged regalness, there will be no going back. I got what I need. Did I get all the, uh, Danny DeVitos? I'm assuming so. So let's go. Ooh, so we're going down here. So, oh, and she looks like a spider. Are you sure that's the Ant Queen? Ow! Ow! That was very uncomfortable. Eh. Ah. We're gonna be cut killing these guys with the axe. Because obviously that's what we're supposed to do. Uh -huh. Okay, we're going back to the hammer. So where was I in my story? 
Oh yes, talking about uh Okay, how do I do this? Do I kill her with this? Oh! Ah! Get out! Get out! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! This really is not good! Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, that was not a smart move. Well, the fence literally electrocuted me and threw me back like four feet because of the electric pulse that it went through. And it hurt. I swear, I must have dislocated my shoulder or something when I was thrown back because I was in extreme pain. And I never decided to touch an electric fence again. Wow, Miss Queenie, you are pathetically easy. Yay, we are done here. So that's the story of how I got lost on a straight road and how <laughs> I learned the value of electricity. Bless me. If it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants. Hold still, and I'll remove the shriek spell. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely Amber. Here you are, Sir Knight. A wart-covered and cabbage-smelling old crone I may be, but I always keep my promises. I grant you my reward. Wait a minute. <laughs> Got a chicken drumstick. Yay! So, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, fellas, nope, I gotta play that again because I didn't save all the Danny DeVitos. What a fool I was! What an outrageous fool! Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quit. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're gonna be going back to a little bit more of the commentary in just a minute. Let me fast forward through this so you don't have to uh, see it again. Ah, that's much better. As you guys can see, Danny DeVito is actually there with us! Bless me, if it isn't Daniel, Lord of the Ants! Well, I've already heard what you have to say. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Thank you for the drumstick. You are out to free all of them. I'm sorry, I can only take so much of that voice. That was... There you go. See, that's why I knew. I remembered he sent me to the Hall of Heroes. That's why I was confused. It's like, where is he? I couldn't find him. I am not using a drumstick. I'm going to get the axe again. The axe is the best weapon in the world. Yes, I haven't used it much yet. But, oh... As you guys can see... I can never remember. Uh, let's see. We have no, no, no. But yeah, I lose my way a lot in this game. <laughs> Ew, Mr. Prince. Oh, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Ah, eh, sure. What can you do? Huh? Flaming longbow. Excuse me, Mr. Centaur, Mr. King of the Horse People. I thought your entire tribute was bow. So, why do you not know about the flaming bow? Such a thing is kind of, I don't know, obvious? This is, okay. I'll be honest, I'm speechless now. I'm speechless. I don't know. What? What? How do you not know about the bow? Seriously. That... 
I don't, okay. I, I, mm. shut up. I've seen you before. You got the flying cats, whatever they are. I don't care. Right now, I'm going to be taking a quick break. I'm going to get something to drink. And I'm going to relax before I got to play this place again. Fighting these frogs and whatever else is in this place. Because I'm sorry, the stupidity of that. He gave me the bow. How do you not know what the flaming bow is? How is that a gamble? Are you afraid the arrows are going to just burn up as I shoot them? It's kind of the point, buddy. All right, well, that's it for today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry. If you guys understand how he didn't know what the Flaming Gabo is, please let me know, because I would, I would love to figure this thing out. So just say in the comments below what he meant by not knowing a Flaming Bow. This thing just doesn't make any sense. All right, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like or comment beneath. I would love to hear what you have to say. And until the next video, I will see you later. Bye-bye.